Fox 61 Morning News starts now. Right now, we are 24 hours from the start of Travelers here in Connecticut. We have live team coverage for you all morning long. A toddler shot in the stomach will have reaction from one neighbor who witnessed the chaotic scene. And vaccines have now rolled out in Connecticut for the littlest ones. How one town here jumped in at protecting the younger kids against COVID-19. Oh, there's a lot of people on that board right now. Everybody covering the Travelers Championship. Thanks for choosing the Fox 6 1 Morning News. It's 9 o'clock. I'm Matt Scott. And I'm Eric Arias. Good morning. As always, on this week, we are starting with team coverage as we are now just one day away from official play getting underway at Travelers. We have live team coverage for you all morning long as we get you ready for the 2022 Travelers Championship. So we're getting straight out to Fox 6 1's Tim Lammers out at TPC River Highlands. Hey, Tim. Hey, hey, yes, alongside Rachel Piscatelli here for Pro-Am Day. Now, if you're looking to see the big celebrities, they're going to be teeing off starting at about noon or so. But, of course, the big-name golfers, they have been uh, out all morning. Just the, the last of the morning group went out with Xander Shoffley and uh, Patrick Cantley, the last of them to tee off at 8.50. If you're looking for, like, Justin Thomas, Rory McIlroy, they actually started early in the day at 6.50 and 7 a.m. respectively. So they're going to be making the turn playing the back nine right about now and you still have another two hours if you want to come out to the course to be able to see them and then of course maybe get some autographs afterwards the weather is improving it's getting a little bit warmer there's not a lot of wind and the rain that was here earlier is gone Rachel that's good yeah I mean it was certainly soggy you were saying some of those big names were teeing off a little bit earlier yeah. today so the conditions were less than ideal I would imagine for golfers as we were seeing some pretty steady rain across portions of the state so right now we'll take a look at our live radar right now where things are a little bit better in terms of conditions we're still dealing with some pockets of moderate rain across the state so let's take a look at the radar and we'll show you what's going on across the state where you can see that there are still some pockets of moderate rain falling, also some light rain near Chester, Essex, Killingworth, Clinton along 95 till Old Saybrook. We're also seeing some heavier rain bands kind of near uh, the Rhode Island border. In terms of winds, they're out of the southeast, anywhere from about 5 to about 12 miles per hour, a little bit gusty in Danbury this morning. Calm in Hartford. Your numbers this morning are ranging in the 50s and low 60s, right around 61 degrees in Hartford, 63 in New Haven. You'll notice our high temperatures for the day do not range, uh, move much. We're talking about middle to upper 60s to near 70 to 71 degrees, 69 in the Cromwell area. So your day planner, if you're heading to TPC this morning and in the afternoon, will have mostly cloudy skies, a chance for some on and off rain showers through the afternoon. So you might want to just grab the umbrella just in case, but otherwise things are a little bit better here. And of course, we'll have much more on your full forecast, which you can expect coming up in just a bit. But right now we want to head to uh, uh, Lauren Zenzi, who is live in the CTDOT Traffic Center this morning. Lauren, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm glad that you're you're dry now here in the CTDOT Traffic Center. A couple of incidents that I want to talk about this morning. The first one in heading into the capital city, that northbound side of I-91. We are seeing a crash right between exits 29 and 29A. This is right at Brainerd Road. You see the crews getting on scene right now. There is a tow truck that is just arriving, so hopefully this will be cleared because, as you can see, it is impacting the right-hand shoulder and also two lanes. Also want to mention that there is a crash down in Southington. Traffic moving extremely slow, 12 miles an hour on the eastbound side of I-84 between exits 32 and 33. We could take a live look right there. Traffic is extremely slow right now. Some really heavy congestion that they're experiencing right there. Let's take a live look. For anyone that is heading to the Travelers Championship, want to give you plenty of time to get where you need to go. So whether you are heading northbound on Route 9 or southbound on I-91, heading on West Street into the Cromwell area, give yourself plenty of time to get where you need to go because as we uh, as the Travelers Championship kicks off and throughout the next few days we are going to see those heavy delays in the area so definitely give yourself plenty of time so you don't miss any of the action uh, at the Travelers Championship we'll be checking in with them in just a little bit but for now Matt I'll send things over to you. 
All right, Lauren, thanks so much. We'll check back in just a bit. Now, before we get to our travelers' coverage this morning, we are following developing news out of Waterbury for you. That's where police say a two-year-old boy has been hospitalized after being shot in the stomach. Police say they responded to the area of Pinecrest Drive just after 1.30 yesterday afternoon after they got a report of a child shot. Now, when they got to the scene, they found that the toddler was shot in the abdomen area. One neighbor that didn't want to be identified described the chaotic scene. Knowing it was a two-year-old is just horrifying. It's just very, very sad to think about that baby having to live with what scar and trauma might, you know, have to come up for the rest of their life. A Waterbury police say it is still very early in this investigation, and they're asking anyone with information to give them a call. Certainly, we hope the little one has a quick recovery and is going to be okay. Yeah, indeed. All right. At 9.06, now back to the Travelers Championship and the uh, scene at the TPC River Highlands. Lindsay Kane, this is, I think, her first time there. She's at the fan zone so soaking it all in. What do you got for the big day? What activities do they have for fans this year, Lindsay? Hi, good morning. Yes, this is my first Travelers Championship. Soaking it all in, including the rain uh, that we saw all earlier this morning. But the rain has cleared up. The fan zone is opening right now. And of everything opening is the Trinity Health of New England tent, which we're here right now. I'm here with Caitlin Rushlow with Trinity Health. So can you just talk a little bit about what families can expect if they come out here to the Trinity tent? Yes, absolutely. Well, good morning. And we're so happy to be back this year in the fan zone. Trinity Health of New England uh, historically been here in the fan zone, but obviously a hiatus with the pandemic. So we are back with a rest and recharge zone area that is family friendly. And we're really proud of the offerings that we have here. We have air conditioning. While we know we don't need air conditioning today, um, we are certainly going to be offering air conditioning when the temperatures start to rise throughout the weekend. Um, and we're also, again, family friendly. We're offering some baby changing area. So privacy rooms for moms or parents that need to do a quick diaper change, some feeding for baby, um, an area to just sit down, take a load off. You can take a look inside um, and 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 rest and recharge for the for every member of the family, even those tiniest little members. Right, for sure. These are nice rooms that you offer to families, and you know, just this tent itself. You know, the couches. It's a nice place for families to come and just relax and enjoy the fan zone. How important is it for Trinity Health to offer something like this for fans to come out to really encourage people to come out, even if they do have little ones? Well, absolutely. We know this is a, this is an exciting. Uh, uh, event for, for Connecticut, for everyone in Connecticut, right? We're all happy to be here, but we also know that bringing some little ones or even just folks walking around all day, that can that can be a long day. So you do need that minute to kind of sit down, recharge the battery, if you will, maybe get in the air conditioning, cool off on those days that it's hotter. And again, have those little ones have a, a place where you can, for the moms and, and parents, close the door, have a little privacy, get that diaper change and feeding done um, in a quiet, uh, clean space is, is really key as a mom of two little kiddos, been out here with infants, been out here with toddlers, this is uh, clutch. <laughs> right, for sure. This is a great opportunity for families to take advantage. Thank you so much for your time, Caitlin. And we're going to actually head over to Sean Pergano, who is live on the course right now with more of what's going on uh, with the Pro-Am. Hey, Sean. Hey, uh, good morning to you. That's right. Uh, we are along the uh, 18th fairway here. It is a little misty, a little soupy out here, but loads of golfers out here. 52 groups expected to tee off between 6.45 this morning and 2 o'clock uh, this afternoon for the Celebrity Pro-Am here at the Travelers Championship. Lots of local stars and national stars. We're talking brand new UConn football coach Jim Moore expected to play in his first Pro-Am here at the TPC River Highlands. We also have uh, other UConn coaches. We have a former UConn quarterback, Dan Orlovsky, who now works for ESPN. He's an analyst. He is great. And then also some big-time stars like Tim Wakefield, former Red Sox pitcher and Heisman Trophy winner, uh, uh, Doug Flutie. You know, there's a lot of great players out here, too. We got the world's number one and number two, but you know, one big name that has just pulled out, we're talking about Brooks Kepka. He was expected to be playing in this Pro-Am this morning, but he has withdrawn from this tournament as he heads on over to the Live Golf Tour uh, and is expected to play in Portland next week. He is a four-time uh, major winner, but he will not be here in Cromwell 
well as he leaves the PGA Tour for Live Golf. And players, well, they're talking about the, uh, the absence of some of these big-time players. It sucks Brooks isn't playing. I thought he was in the field um, weeks ago, and obviously to lose a top player like that um, kind of sucks. I mean, you, you want to play against some of the best guys in the world, and it is what it is. I haven't talked to any of those guys uh, about it, but, you know, if it makes sense for them and they feel like it's the best um, opportunity for them professionally, then I, I understand that. Yeah, and right now the world's number one and number two players are here. We are talking about Scotty Scheffler and Rory McIlroy. We've got you covered from the Celebrity Pro-Am all day long along the course. We'll be live at 4 and 5 on the news coming up a little later on this afternoon. We are live on the 18th fairway at the TPC River Highlands. Sean Pergano, Fox 61 Sports. All right, Sean, you enjoy yourself. We know you will. We'll check back with you in the next hour. Have fun. All right, so if you're going to be heading out to see the stars, here are the tea times. All the celebrities are going to be teeing off from the first tea box at noon. It's a football crew. Patriots legend Andre Tibbet, longtime QB Doug Flutie, and ESPN's Chris Berman. And then at 1210, uh, keeping up with the ESPNers, Seth Greenberg and Michael Eves, UConn's Chris Daly joins them. 1220, let's call them the entertainers, actor, actor Christopher Jackson, Dane DeHaan, singer Javier Colon. And then at 1230, it's a team representing UConn, Nancy Stevens, Jim Mora, Mike Cavanaugh. And then as uh, Sean mentioned, uh, Red Sox legend Tim Wakefield, he'll tee off at 1240 along with former UConn QB, Dan Orlovsky. Yeah, that threw Good some bunch. change to a uh, to some because Bill Murray. Bill Murray, who is always a crowd pleaser. He's a little Trump, under yeah. the weather. All right, let's move on to 912. Health officials in our state getting shots into younger arms. Everything you need to know when it comes to fully vaccinating young children. And the sky high gas price is still making headlines where Connecticut stands this morning. And the news coming from the White House that could save you some money when filling up. That ahead.